All right, I intend to show that the Earth, its magnetic field, is literally the product of motor noise, electric motor noise. The Earth itself is an electric motor, virtually. The, the Earth is spinning on its axis a thousand miles an hour. Uh, it does 25,000 miles in one day, so it's a thousand miles an hour spinning. And inside of the Earth, there's all these magnetic stripes. And these magnetic stripes are spinning around what they say is an iron core. I'll accept that. And this exact architecture would create a, a, a generator effect. And that generator effect creates magnetic pulsations on these magnetic fields, uh, ma magnetic lines that are in the earth, these stripes. And I'll show you those in a minute. And when those stripes pulse, they create the magnetic field that surrounds the earth. And those stripes are not straight like a regular motor. They jiggle and jiggle here and there. And, and that is why there's magnetic anomalies on the earth. They say, oh, you go in a certain area, your, your compass spins this and that. Well, yeah, because the line is not straight. The, uh, you know, the positive line that comes down, instead of staying straight, it jiggles here, jiggles there. And I'll show you this in a second. Now, here's what I want to show you. And the scene. This is a magnetic anomaly detector, okay. which could pinpoint steel hulls lurking in the deep. Just listen, this came from war, obviously. But they stumbled across something else. Running parallel on either side of the ridge, they found strange stripes of magnetic rocks, alternating positive and negative away from the ridge's peak. Here's the mid-Atlantic ridge coming down from here almost perfectly symmetric on either side of that are these white and black stripes. These have often been called zebra stripes. Alright, now, what I want to say is, yes, those are zebra stripes, and yes, they are magnetic. They've determined that. I agree with all this stuff. Now, I'm saying they will create a magnetic field as they spin. It's, it's, it's the way motors work, and I'll show you how that works in a second. Now, they completely just missed the whole idea of this thing. Now, watch. They're talking about something that totally doesn't make any Geologists sense. I mean, know that the Earth is like a giant magnet with a north and a south pole. But the magnetic poles aren't fixed. Every 300,000 years or so, the magnetic field suddenly flips 180 degrees. They totally missed everything. 300,000 years, when remember the field that. Flips, a compass that was previously pointing north will swing to the south. This reversing of the Earth's magnetic field is a very interesting and exciting but very puzzling phenomenon for geophysicists to explain. So they just they just come up with a ridiculous explanation. <laughs> the stripes either side. All right. This is where I run into all kinds of problems because they say that the Earth's uh, reversal goes every so often in astronomical terms, a gigantic distance of time. And these are squirting out of here one right after the other in, in a very short astronomical, uh, geological. All right, this is a geomagnetic reversal, which is the pole shift that everybody talks about, north going to south. And that apparently does happen. I don't have a problem with that. But the problem I do have is that they say that the latest one happened 780,000 years ago. And they say this is the reason that the magnetic stripes on the seafloor take on their magnetic variations of pluses and minuses, you know, north and south. And that's insane because the spreading of the seafloor, you don't get one stripe every 780,000 years. Not even close. These are like very, very much shorter than that. I, you know, I'm trying to find a reference for this, but I know they are much shorter in duration than that. 780,000 years is, is, um, would give you a much wider gap than these, than these things are shooting out at. And they're, it, it appears to me that this is not being considered correctly. All right. This is what's called a stator. All right, this is how an electric motor works, and inside of it, it has um, the uh, rotor. All right, and that rotor sits inside of here, and that is like the core of our Earth, like they're saying the the um, the iron core, 
and this is like the bar magnets of the magnetic anomalies that run uh, on these uh, stripes. Now these are perfectly straight and what happens is they the coils go you, you keep passing coil around and around and it drags this around in circles behind it. I rewound these for General Electric. I use huge ones, big ones, like these guys are standing there. They, fa they did factories. And, uh, and then I, I was in the Army, I did uh, Nike Hercules missiles, 400 cycle power. And, but I, I know this stuff, I've, I've worked around this, and I understand noise and all that stuff. And then these, whenever a field collapses, it creates a magnetic uh, uh, electro pulse. As they build, they create one, and as they collapse, they create one. <coughs> and that is what is creates these magnetic fields. Build, boom, 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 and that's what's creating the magnetic field around our Earth. And when you go around the Earth, and they say, "Oh, the compass goes crazy here and there." Well, if the stripes aren't straight, obviously, and it's it, you're going to get a, a this, 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 this coming through here. It's, it's not going to be right. So that's why the you see the northern lights and everything they don't they don't look like a complete bar magnet pattern and the reason that the north and the south pole is at the north and the south pole is because that is the points of axis now rotors these are the kind of rotors that spin inside uh, commutators you know this is here you know all of this stuff is fully understood there's nothing here that isn't understood and as as these brushes these are called brush boxes and as the brushes make a connection up here you're sending electricity in and it's it's strobing a certain coil in here and then the next coil and then the next coil and then the next coil and that's what makes this motor spin well if some of these are missing, it's still going to work. So if this place is on the earth and aren't perfect, it's still going to be okay. And that's what happens in the electric motors. Inside of these, we had, used to have to undercut between these copper bars. There's insulation in between there. And then you had to take what they call a, a, a mega ductor. I, can't, I think that was what we called it, a duct, mega ductor or something like that. And you'd have to make sure that there was no crosstalk between any of these coils in here otherwise you lose the efficiency of the motor but this did they still would work that's the key the the earth is sending out these magnetic pulses and you get these crazy looking uh northern lights and that's that's the effect of exactly what you expect from what is is i say is happening